I just need your attention, baby. I see the way I the tension, baby. Let me know, let me know, let me know. If I'm more than just a friend to you, more than just a friend to you. Hey guys, it's Steph. I know it's been a really long time, but I haven't had anything to tell you guys in the past couple of months. Nothing has really changed with my hair routine, but now that certain things have, I am back so I can share my knowledge and the things that I've learned in the past couple of months. So this video is just going to be about my new product favorites. In the last few months, I haven't tried a lot of new things, but the new things that I have tried, I've gotten really, really lucky and I've ended up liking majority of them, which is funny because the last video that I <laughs> that I made was actually about a product, a new product that I had tried, which was the Carol's Daughter, I think it was the hair milk if I'm not mistaken. I, I couldn't even like show it to you right now if I wanted to because I actually gave that product away because I hated it so much. But I have a few product winners just laid out on my bed right here that I want to show you guys because I do think that they're products that are worth running out to the beauty supply and spending however much they cost. That's how good they are. And you know I'm a cheap kind of girl, but these are so good. The first one and my favorite one, usually I would save the best for last, but this one is so good that I feel like I have to start the video out with this one. And it's the Jane Carter Solution. Oh, there we go. Revitalizing leave-in conditioner. Oh my god. <laughs> I cannot. Like, if I show you right here, that's how much is left in the bottle. And it was filled up to the top. So I've used that much of this product. This product is everything. Everything. Like, if you are lacking moisture, right now it's winter in Canada. Like, if I flipped around the camera and showed you it was going on inside of my window, you'd probably be depressed. That's how gross it is out there. I found this product at the perfect time. I actually took a trip to New York back in August, and I found this product on sale at a random beauty supply in Brooklyn. Picked it up because I've always wanted to try Jane Carter Solution. I'd never actually heard of this product. There was no reason for me to pick it up other than the fact that it was on sale. Now I don't care how much this product costs. It could be like a $30 product and I would still pick it up because that's how good it is. So basically what it is, it's like a leave-in conditioner but in a spray form. So it's like a, I don't even know, like a super moisturizing spray that you put on your hair. I actually tend to start my hair routine with this product. So right after I come out of the shower and my hair is soaking wet, instead of spraying it with water like I usually do, I actually start by spraying it with this which helps to detangle my hair as I'm rubbing like curl products through it and actually helps to lock in moisture. And I've seen a huge difference in my hair since I started using this product. It does contain um, a ton of natural ingredients like aloe vera, uh, chamomile, nettle leaf extract, rosemary, like all of the ingredients at the bottom here are actually things that I can read. I don't really see too many chemicals in here, and the ones that I do see are pretty familiar and are in a lot of my hair products already, so I know that they play well with my hair. This stuff has taken my hair routine to a whole other level. I could probably do a whole video just about this damn product, but I'm not going to do that. This leave-in conditioner is actually extended how long I can leave my hair down. So this is actually sixth day hair. Six days. Tomorrow will make it a week since I've washed my hair and to me it doesn't look that bad. Normally my hair will be a lot more frizzy. I actually haven't had to do any touch-ups with my hair which is unusual because normally by day four or five I would have to rub some kind of leave-in conditioner in it so I can keep it like a little less frizzy but this is just like oil shake and go in the morning which is awesome and that's because of this product because it holds in so much moisture that your hair doesn't get frizzy anymore and it has it adds shine it makes your hair feel super soft and super silky and just oh it's so good it's so good if there's one product that you get out of this entire video it should be this one the next one was another random discovery and it's super super affordable which i love it's the garnier fructis sleek and shine and it's an anti-frizz serum with argan oil and apparently it's for frizzy dry and unmanageable hair all are things that I have. And I picked it up randomly while on a trip in Miami. I just needed a hair oil because I'd forgotten mine at home. So I picked one that was like $4.99. And I had heard some really good things about it from girls on YouTube, but they were girls who wore like wigs and weaves. So I wasn't sure if it would actually work on natural hair. And this stuff is so bomb. A, it smells super, super good. B, a little goes a long way. And C, it's like $4.99. 
So even if you don't like it, you can't even cry about it because you only spent $5. This stuff, it just adds so much shine to my hair. Like when it calls itself sleek and shine, it's not playing any games. It actually adds so much shine to my hair. Every single morning, if my hair is starting to look dry, I'll add a little bit in. I put it in before I go to sleep. And the best part about it is, it doesn't matter how much I put in my hair, my hair doesn't feel greasy. I don't know if that's the same with if you're using like a synthetic hair or like a wig or a weave, or if your hair is straight, it might be a little bit heavier. But when you have like huge, thick, natural, natural hair this stuff will just eat it right up and you never feel greasy so I love this stuff I am obsessed yeah so if there's something that I can recommend it would be this another thing on my list for today is the Jamaican black castor oil strengthen and restore not the leave-in conditioner but it's the treatment mask let me show you there I didn't know that they actually made a treatment mask and it's brown but I don't know if you can tell because it's actually kind of lopsided there is like hardly anything left in here that's how much I love this product. Every This is kind of expensive. Like in Canada, this stuff costs, I would say, I think mine costs like $16.99, which sucks, but it is worth it. I have the leave-in conditioner version of it, and I love the leave-in conditioner version, but I just find myself not using it as much now that I'm natural. It was a staple in my transitioning days because it was super, super moisturizing, but now I find that it's just a little bit too heavy for my hair. But I decided, since I loved that line so much when I was transitioning, I decided to try out the mask. And this mask is worth every penny. You put it in your hair, and right after you rinse it out, you do feel a difference. And it's just, I don't know. It's just, it smells like Play-Doh, which is weird. And it's brown, which is also weird. But I like it. I don't know. I just find it super moisturizing. It does strengthen your hair. It's for natural, chemically processed, color treated, or heat styled hair, which is basically all the kinds of hair that need moisture. And it's meant to nourish, rebuild, and restore according to the cover. And I find that it actually does do that. If you're looking for a new deep conditioning mask, I would suggest this one. I am religious when it comes to deep conditioning. I never skip a deep conditioning treatment. Every week on wash day, it's my wash day starts out with a deep conditioning. And that's why I think my hair has been able to retain so much length. If there's one tip that I can give you if you're trying to grow your hair long and strong, it's to deep condition. Just, it's so easy. Just throw some deep conditioner, a plastic bag, half an hour before your hair routine, and I don't know, clean your room or something. Do something else. Like you, you can deep condition while you're cooking if you need to. Just make sure you deep condition, especially if you live somewhere that has a harsh winter like Canada. So the last thing on my list is really random. It's not a product, it's actually a tool. And I'm sure a lot of you guys already have this, but I, didn't have one for a very long time and it's a edge brush mine is a little beat up it's probably time for a new one and it literally has like a fine tooth, tooth comb on one end and then a boar bristle brush on the other end I no longer have to buy toothbrushes for the sole purpose of doing my edges and I think it's so cute because it's pink and I don't know I like it. I think it's cute because it's actually meant for your hair. I mean, toothbrushes, don't get me wrong, they still get the job done, but this is only two bucks. So it's like, why not buy the double-sided one so you don't have to carry around both tools? I don't really lay my edges too often because I normally wear my hair down or if I wear it in a bun, my bangs are usually down. So I don't typically, like my edges are already covered and I just don't see a need to play with your edges and you know, like cause damage to them if you, there's, there's no point, like who, are, who am I impressing? Who am I impressing if they're already covered up anyway? A few times that I do slick my hair back, I do definitely use this tool and it's one of my favorites. I kind of wonder why it took me so long to buy one of these and why it took me so long to even know that one of these things existed. So they're kind of dope. And if you don't know about these, then you should get one too because I was one of the like two people on the entire planet who didn't know that this existed. So I think it's super, super cool. So those are actually all of my new product favorites. As I said, not a lot has changed, but the few things that have changed are all winners in my book, and I feel like you guys should buy all of them. They're awesome, and they're inexpensive, so definitely try them out. And if you guys have any ideas for my next few videos, let me know, because a girl is struggling. I feel like it's hard for me to talk about my hair when things aren't changing, because I just feel like it doesn't come across as genuine, and I'm just kind of forcing myself to be on camera to talk about absolutely nothing so if you guys want to see anything from me i was thinking about showing you guys some like new hairstyles that i've been trying now that my hair has gotten like a lot longer that's one of my ideas but again i'm stuck for other things so if there's anything you guys want to see from me or if you guys want any updates on some of my past videos from my transitioning days let me know and 
Last but not least, thank you for a thousand subscribers. I'm feel like I think my last video I hadn't hit a thousand just yet, and now I'm close to 1500. So I'm kind of shocked what goes on when you stop actually watching your subscriber count. You just kind of like blink your eyes and you hit a thousand subscribers. So thank you guys very, very much. Just in time for the holidays. I will see you guys in my next video, which hopefully won't take as long as this one does. <laughs> so I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. I just need your attention, baby I see the way I the tension, baby Let me know, let me know, let me know If I'm more than just a friend to you More than just a friend to you